What makes a mystery so fascinating? Every now and then, something arises that blurs the line between what's real and what's fantasy, breaking down the barriers between fact and fiction. It is then that we realize that the real world is far stranger than we could have possibly imagined, and that mysteries exist that warrant a closer look. If you exhaust every other possibility, whatever remains, however improbable, is probably paranormal. Those on the other side we don't refer to as the dead. A lot of people say that spiritualists talk to the dead. I don't talk to anybody that's dead. I talk to the living on the other side in the next dimension. Because they're just as alive as you and I. In some cases, they're more alive than you and I. The spirit box is used for communication with the dead if you wish to make that decision that we are communicating with the dead. We still don't know. We still don't know what it is we're communicating with. This is one of the things that make this still a pseudoscience. When we die, energy does leave us. And where that energy goes is questioned. And I truly believe that that energy, which could be our soul, which, which really in honesty could also be our aura, um, can stay around us instead of passing over to you know heaven or or after death or whatever you want to call it i believe that they have a choice to stay with us and i believe that that's what haunting is my intention going into the psychomantium was to make contact with my brother my brother uh, passed away about three years ago he was young he was only 48 and we didn't really know what the cause of his death was he was just found passed in his home on his couch i had some visuals i saw yeah and i saw faces as well I saw some faces, they were half formed, kind of like uh, the top half of a face from the nose up. Um, three different individuals that were not familiar to me. Sometimes it comes through, it just comes through. Because many times we'll ask the table a question, and the table will give us an answer, and then mediumistically we are given information to clarify that answer or to make sure that we understand what it's all about. Do we know we're communicating with the dead or do we hope we are? You talk to somebody perhaps from a strong religious background will say that everything we're speaking to is demonic trying to manipulate us. You speak to other people in this community from the ufology side who will say that you're probably speaking to an alien who actually accesses your mind and gives you the answers that you're looking for. You speak to somebody else from ideology who will say that it's probably multidimensional that you're speaking to something or someone that never even existed on this planet. There are too many different ways to look at this of what we're communicating with, but we have to start with the hope that what we're communicating with is our loved ones. What does make a mystery so fascinating? Is it the thought that there is more to this world than we can ever see, hear, and touch? Or is it how, after every possibility has been exhausted, we're still plagued by the same burning questions, how, and why. It seems we may never have the answers to all of life's mysteries, but it is in our nature to keep searching. I'm Brendan Rogers. Join us next time for more mysteries from the end.